Matthew became the fifth hurricane of the season Thursday afternoon. The storm is strengthening in the eastern Caribbean, where it has already killed one person in St. Vincent. Matthew is expected to take a sharp northern turn and could threaten the U.S. sometime next week. Chief Meteorologist Craig Setzer from our Miami station WFOR is tracking the storm. Matthew this evening had 75 mile an hour winds moving to the west at a pretty good clip at 17 miles an hour. That speed is going to have to slow down because when it makes that north turn, where it ends up before it makes that turn is going to have big consequences to potentially Florida, maybe even the east coast of the U.S., but certainly the northern islands of the Caribbean. Here's the National Hurricane Center's track forecast to become Category 2 on Saturday and then lift to the north. Monday, this general time frame, uh, basically between Jamaica and Haiti, and then Tuesday into Cuba and the Bahamas. Once again, a track further to the west means that potentially Florida could be affected. There's been lots of uncertainty with the models so far, at least through the first part of the week, and pretty good consensus, but it's where that northward turn takes place. If it takes place over here, then the brunt of the storm for Haiti, the Dominican Republic, Turks and Caicos, Southeast Bahamas, but if it gets further west and here, certainly we in the United States will need to watch it because it'll take a track much further west, but still a lot of uncertainty. Vlad? So, Craig, uh, is it your sense and your analysis that perhaps we'll have a better sense as to whether or not it will hit the United States by Wednesday? Well, I think on Saturday where it starts to make that turn is going to be a big issue here because... Once again, if it makes the turn very early, then it's probably going to stay out to sea once it gets through the northern Antilles here. If it gets further to the west and the western Caribbean, then that could be a problem. One of the things that we're going to look at tonight is uh, Hurricane Hunters, a G4 plane. It's a high high flying NOAA plane that's going to be flying out here. There's not a lot of information over the ocean here. We can't really sample the atmosphere. So this plane is flying along. It's dropping instruments into the atmosphere to see what it looks like. All that information goes into the computer models. That plus the latest Air Force uh, recon plane now investigating the system. That's all going to help improve, hopefully, tonight's models and we'll have a little more certainty going forward. All right. Something we'll certainly be following. Craig Setzer in Miami for us. Thank you, Craig.